never stop me from achieving my bread. I'm my little son Joshi from achieving goal. From Joshi four year old, him a, him a fight for him goal. And now him get it. Why them want to hold down my pick me, man? Why no want to hold him down? As I say already, I'm going to say it again. I'm going to find Proverbs 12 and read 22 to 28. And say to no heart free, man, and make my own free too. Because I know my hand clean and my heart pure. I don't want nothing about room with it. And my son don't want nothing about room with it. I can't even get to come out come to my everyday duty as I used to do. Sell me so. God the blogger them make me afraid of my community. This is where Romy do his business. And over here is where I do my business. You see, you see all the streets there? And you see a lot of people do business on the same place. If Romy spit in my face right here. You don't think somebody out here would see that or know that? If it's even a vehicle that going up or down, you don't think somebody would see that? Why these people keep spreading rumor on my name? When you come off of my name, man, and come off of my son's name, because when you talk about rumor, I don't know nothing about it. I don't know nothing about it. I'm tired of it, man. I don't know blogger. I don't take this thing out of proportion, you know. I don't want to beat me up, you know. And I beat up Romy family, them, you know. Romy clean out my place. The same map we clean Romy place, and the same map clean my place. Romy ever keeping my place clean. Romy and the eye glass, me, you know, I say Romy, Romy walk and Romy, I get trouble and this and that. Romy, I get nobody no trouble. Romy sell him like an orange. If him not an orange, he go look June from or something or Guinea for coming. He go sell him Guinea. Put no leave me and pick me them out of them something, yeah, man. What do you want me to run me from a community where I'm born and growing? You know? I don't have nowhere to run, go, you know. And some of you talk how I pack up and run away. I don't have nowhere to run, go, man. You know, just take my son, dash his name out of this thing. Because Rome, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I'm tired right now. Yeah, uh, my name is Mervyn Clark. I'm Josh's father. And I'm trying to mix him up. Yeah, so. The problem is now, it's like, they want to get to the youth, but then start from the mother. Then clean so the man kick over the mother, soup at, spit in her face, wet her up with water. When there is nothing like that, you know, see, it? the mother, the youth mother is a loving parents, you know. She share everyone love her, you know, see, it? it's not like, say, well then, she's a troublemaker. She's a loving, nice, beautiful lady. You know see? Yes. But them want to get it, carry on the youth career. Because there are good things in the world, you know. They keep treat for the youth, them. Him, um, give, give back to him school and go excel. He's a childhood school, the church, school where he start from. And them not big up that, you know. But them, the negative things they push out now, it's like they want to blight the youth career, you know see? Jashi takes a hit. Born fright are traumatized to the core. Family says as showed cancels. It is stating that dancehall artist Jashi is facing the fight of his life. Now people, it says that fake news that began swirling on social media two weeks ago that Jashi had an argument with 45 year old Omar Romy Wright moments before the businessman was shot and killed on June the 7th has led to the cancellation of shows threatening the livelihood and safety of the barn fighter DJ and his family. When Romy was murdered, it was widely rumored that prior to his killing, he spat in the face of Josh's mother, Lorna Henry, and threw water on her before kicking over a pot of soup that she was selling on Shortwood Road. But in an exclusive interview with the Jamaica Observer on Saturday, Henry categorically denied that any altercation took place between herself and Romy as far as she is concerned for both families share and maintain a good relationship and said for people to even imply that Jashi had anything to do with Romy's murder is all a plot to tear down her son's flourishing music career. Accompanied by his attorney, King's counsel Peter Champagne and Richard Lynch, Jashi whose given name is Maliki Tafari Clark turned himself into the police last week after they had expressed an interest in him in relation to the matter. He was interviewed and released. A relative of Joshi who cop L as suspect in Romy's murder was also released. 
It is also stating that the artist's mother, Bash Vlaggers, whom she accused of wantonly, wantonly spreading false news with impunity. The vloggers are setting up my family's life and Romy's family's life. They need to do their research before they take up things on their head and spread it. The only people who know about the rumor are the people spreading it and the vloggers. What they are mm -hmm. running with, I don't know anything about and Joshi don't know anything about it either. They take this thing to an extreme and I am scared because of the vloggers who tell lies and hoist it like how you hoist a kite. Also, both families are very close. Romy's mother is Joshi's godmother. If Joshi is passing Romy on the street, they yell of each other. Romy's mother and I grew up in the community. We played together and we never had any problem. Romy calls me mama and he used to use one map to clean up my place and then he would clean up his business place where he used to sell fried food. Also, he also used to sell June plum and oranges. He, he was very clean. I just want the people to cut out the nonsense and stop beat up my life and Josh's life. It is not good. Some of them say me pick up and run away or pack up and run away but I don't have anywhere else to run to. We are tired of it now, she said. Josh's cousin, Rochelle Gilzin, appealed to the vloggers to stop targeting the young star. She insists that Joshi is no criminal and describes him as a young man who believes in his community of Grandspen in St. Andrew and all only, want see or only wants to see upliftment for the youth. Also people, it is stating that Joshi's father was also grieved. Shows have been cancelled. He has a show in August and the people are saying they can't have him on the show because of these matters and it is unfair. Corporate entities have wrongfully tried him and this is, is, this is his means of living. It is wrong. There are lots of people who use it as an opportunity to jump on it to try and destroy him. Joshi is a born fighter and he is going to rise above this and is going to represent for all the young people in the inner city who want better. The vloggers need to be held accountable. The government needs to do something to regulate the online platform. People should not be allowed to just say anything and not be held accountable if it affects life. Also, when you put misinformation out there, you cannot take it back. Romy and I were very close from childhood up to the time of his passing. This has traumatized Josh to the core. He is holding on and trusting God. I spoke to him and I heard the frustration in his voice. He said every minute is another thing. From one extreme to the next. Me hear him ask him mother what they want me to do. Kill myself. When me hear Josh say that. Water drop out of my eye at 21. So much different things are on his head. Leave him alone and allow him to bloom and grow. Josh's father Mervyn Clark bashed the vloggers for profiting from spreading lies on the internet. All these vloggers who keep mixing up the youth don't know the true story. Talk the good things where the youth do. We want to clear him name. They want to carry down the youth career. They want to get the, to the youth. So them start with the mother and the youth mother is a loving parent. She shares a and everyone loves her. She is no troublemaker. They are frustrate the youth. He is a young youth and when all these things are reach him, if him not firm, he will get off him head. We have to make sure we be a rock around him, Clark said. Also people, as it is stating right now, the family of Joshi is grieving. They are very vexed and especially vexed with the vloggers them who them state around with misinformation, spreading lies and all of that upon their individual platforms people. And me I got said this for clear every year people. Yes, if there's any vloggers out there who are watching my vlogs them are right now who are watching vlog at the moment. Me need you know, to stop them thing that if you know they are spread false information and see me. Yeah man brother, it don't make no sense to not run with foolishness and I set up people life, put people life in a danger and I spoil people career where they work so hard for build. You see me? Because spreading false information could just lead to this artist being killed in, in revenge thinking that this man had something to do with Romy's death where Romy's family come and clear the ear and make we know that Josh not have nothing to do with it. Likewise, Josh's mother came out and cleared the ear of her name and his father also and his other family members to let the public know that Josh is not the type of youth where go walk and kill off him friend them when he grew up with. He in the grand spend era walk and kill off anybody of that sort. You see me, is a youth where does a look for better upliftment for the ghetto youth them in a each and every inner city in build positive songs and that, you see me, but that she is not involved in any gang violence like trying to kill anybody or trying to get rid of anybody out of any community or trying to be not done. 
he is just a role model for the youth them within the inner cities and the youth in a film community who he grew up with and who grew up seeing Jashi. Yeah man, them look up to Jashi and just give Jashi a respect because them know he did it. And from Jashi did it, Jashi, Jashi, Jashi motivated them to show them, say, youth, no matter which boy you come from, you could have come from the poorest family in the ghetto. You can make it once you set your mind to it, you see me? So people, people, I just forward for you know, a quick update on what take place with the dancehall artist Jashi. Yeah man, people, I just want to know, say, guess what, leave a talk in the comments section. Let me know what to think about what is taking place with the artist. And also, let me know what to think about what go on with all of these criminal activities taking place or being mixed up with the dancehall artist. Then because to me, it's kind of getting out of hand. It's kind of getting from bad to worse. And too often, we see the dancehall artist, them name get mixed up in a crime and violence. So people, me need to know who to take on this. Likewise, me go also emphasize, say, make sure to subscribe with the bell notification that as me drop a next factual legitimate update. Yeah, man, you guys be one of the first persons to receive it likewise don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section i'm curious to know what to think as i said before just share your thoughts and i'll respond to all of those comments yeah man people remember to follow me on tiktok if up on tiktok you now watch the vlogs then remember it's your host brains over here once more again telling you guys to make sure so now stay safe stay blessed stay encouraging the artists them to live a better life not a life of crime and also make sure to so encourage yourself and family members and friends to stay far away from criminal uh, 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 uh.